Hello there, and welcome to the Circuit Gilles Villeneuve in Montreal, Quebec, Canada for round seven of the FIA Formula One World Championship on F1 2017. That'll probably get me kicked off. Um, you'll see we have loads of resource points to use. That's because we got a big bonus uh, from our sponsors. Uh, and we also got our engine upgrade. There it is. Right there. And that puts us ahead of Haas and Red Bull. Uh, so now we are competing on speed with the Williams and the Ferraris and surprisingly the Force India is actually one of the fastest cars out there. I think I know where I'm going when my McLaren season's done. I might even take another upgrade, you know. Put all my eggs into one basket. Maybe, I don't know. I'm actually thinking of going uh, with some chassis upgrades to make us better than the Force India. But uh, I think the area I need to concentrate on most is the aero. Because uh, we need to get some aero going to compete with all the other cars. So. That being said, uh, look at the championship quickly, and we are, well we can afford to take it easy this race, but uh, unfortunately we won't be taking it easy, because our car is on the pace, and it is flying. Qualified 12, beat Kvyat. If I qualify 12th, I'm unlucky. Very uh, unlucky. There we go. So, without any further ado, let's get out there and get this baby qualified so we can start the Canadian Grand Prix. As the, as the teams, teams make their, their final preparations, preparations here, here in Canada. Canada. And as, and as we, we wait, wait points, points for the start, start of what will hopefully be a thrilling, thrilling qualifying, qualifying. Why don't you tell us there's a Hamilton. That is Massa's car. Well, we were largely limited by the park population, of course. There's Alonso's car. And there's Lance Stroll, the local hero. And that is it's one of the salvers. I think it's Ericsson. And Verstappen's already in his car. The winner of the Monaco Grand Prix. Right then, just make sure the fuel is right down to... We don't want to be carrying all that fuel around uh, the St. Lawrence Seaway. Got a nice set of ultra soft boots on. <sighs> Let's do this! Get it! So yeah, the uh, engine upgrade really give us some good speed. <coughs> All through practice we were what? A good second. Faster than... Uh, certainly the next car, which I think was uh, one of the Ferraris.
missed the apex there slightly. Groge on with a reasonable benchmark time. If anyone, I'm looking for a Perez. That's attacking the curbs in the last corner. Look at that lap. Take some of that. Where's this speed come from there? Oh! Vettel was nowhere! Vettel was nowhere throughout this whole session. So where he's uh, appeared from, I have no idea. But uh, out of Q1, we have lost Danny Ricardo. Oh dear. Carlos Sainz, Kvyat, Verline and Ericsson. What the hell's going on with Red Bull? Okay, Q2, right, uh, I'm just trying to think here, let's play a little strategy call. I fancy playing a little strategy call here. Don't ask me why, but I do. That was lovely over the last chicane. bit slidey through turn three. Even slidier through turn six. Alonso's time's not really going to bother me too much. Massa's time might bother me. And now it's all about the power in this Honda engine. Whatever power it has got over the line, that's our bloody hell. That's almost as fast as um, super soft, ultra soft time. But to be fair, I don't think there's much difference between the ultra soft and the super soft uh, here. Oh, Alon oh, I was going to say Alonso improved. He did. Get you some there, Alonso. Alonso was fighting with the big boys. He's got his big boy pants on. Verstappen. <laughs> he was nearly out of Q1. He made it into Q2. Three. 
and we lose Grosjean, Magnus and the two Harsies, Hulkenberg, Stroll and Julian Palmer. Right then. Q3. Right. Get the ultra sticky, super sticky. Q3 set on. And here comes the warning now. I'm going to blitz this time. The track's warming up as well. This is what we like to see. Of course, this um, version of the Canadian Grand Prix, the F1 2017, um, is being filmed on the same week of the actual Canadian Grand Prix itself. Hopefully uh, a Mercedes victory there. But uh, if not, Canada does have a habit of uh, throwing up something unexpected every now and then. Well, that's really deep into turn five. We didn't need that. Sorry, turn six. And then after this one, the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Won by Hamilton. Some say rather luckily. There's my tie. Right. <clears throat> Very hesitant. Power for the line. Keep it to the right. Go on. Boom! Have some of that metal. Get you some! You've got nothing! You've got nothing. Your crap. <laughs> oh, lovely. Right. Let's go get paid instead of taunting uh, the stupid Ferrari. Oh, that's got to feel sweet, that pole position. Oh, we're going to get uh, 2,000 points and then some when we get to... we might even get 21 that should be Kvyat done well it's not quite done but he's almost done <clears throat> are you happy here? well yes I am thank you but thanks for checking up on me Kevin and Ems Finish eighth, beat Kvyat, and we're not worried about the championship just yet. Good, so let's, uh, without further ado, or without further agado do, where's the next way? Oh, it is Azerbaijan next, it is Azerbaijan next, isn't it? Yeah, let's see if we can keep our podium streak intact. To be fair, I mean, this is the biggest uh, podium streak I've been on. Six in a row, and the best was season one, five in a row, twice. And then Silverstone and uh, Suzuka let us down. 
We're going to get some kind of redemption at Silverstone, trust me. Right then, let's go and uh, get this done then. I assure you that drink is all kosher. With, With that, that then, let's run through the grid order. It's, it's McLaren, McLaren in, in pole position, position there. And starting, starting alongside in P2 is Sebastian, Sebastian Vettel. Looking, Looking down, down the rest, rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Raikkonen, Valtteri Bottas, and, and Perez, Verstappen, Ocon, Ocon Alonso, and Roman Grosjean. Who took a penalty? Oh, Massa. Shame. And Palmer, Ricardo, Sainz, Kevin Magnussen. I'm calling Ricardo driver of the day right now. And with, and with preparations, preparations almost, almost complete, complete, let's, let's head, head down, down to the, the track. track. Perfect. Let's get this done. Now I want to win this race badly. <coughs> right then. Five red lights, it's lights out and away we go and we're going to come right across right metal straight away, block him off. Hamilton into second place, power move. But we got the start we wanted. Whoop, that's corner cutting. Hamilton and Vettel are having a good fight, we'll let them... Uh, We'll let them fight, and we can disappear. I know Alonso in ninth. I wanted to have a good race today. Oh, here comes Hamilton. Whoa, almost into the wall of champions. Oh, that would have been a disaster. Well, it looks like the three of us have already dropped whoever's in fourth. Because <clears throat> it looks like something's happened. The field bunched up, and I think Alonso has lost out. Oh no, he's still there. Where's Hamilton? There's Hamilton. He can stay there for all I care. We're really attacking these corners. I wonder if that's Raikkonen. Now that's bad news if DRS has been enabled. Because that means Ian's got to get away.
I got to get away. I wanna fly away. I'll just keep an eye on that. We are pulling away from Hamilton, which is good. We're really attacking these corners. Almost did a Vettel there in 2011, for those who don't know. Vettel dominated the race and then... His tyres went off towards the end. Jensen Button, who I think was in every position during the race, came from last to win the race. I think Alonso has lost a place. That's better. There we go. Two and a half back to Hamilton. Always good when I get two and a half seconds back to Hamilton. That means this car is on fire now. Not literally on fire, because it was literally on fire. I wouldn't be going anywhere. How you take that chicane. Because what you got to remember is they're on the ultras, I'm on the supers. Oh, we yeah, really lose them. Pretty easy at the moment. We're going to come out seventh if we pit. Not that we're going to pit yet. Wow, it's only been what? Six laps, it's only 18, 19 seconds. That means my sister car, whereas I nearly pit the wall. He 
is three seconds slower than I am. Three seconds, folks. I think uh, Vettel's pit is a uh, Perez is now in the. Uh, as we go very deep into the hairpin. Yeah, Perez is now in third place. Hamilton's really dropping. I wonder if he's struggling with his tyres. In fact, Hamilton's pitted, so... Any moment now, we should be seeing some super soft runners. Unless Hamilton, no Grosjean and... So Grosjean's second now. Hamilton Stroll is third. Come on, Lancey boy! We're really pumping the laps in now. There's Grosjean. There's Stroll doing his best roadblock impersonation on Hamilton, I imagine. We have a yellow flag in front of us. Normally when the yellow flag happens, the virtual a safety car is needed. It's a moving yellow, so let's see who it is. It's Hulkenberg, who's bloody being a twat. So obviously uh, Hulkenberg had a big problem that necessitated bringing out the virtual safety car. He's still slow. <laughs> Has he finally stopped? I hope he's not gone in the pit. I'm going to catch him going in the pits here. Right. So we are in the pits now. Ultra soft boots going on. Good start. 2.1. Strategy complete. 
and we come out really in front of Hamilton. I can afford to run a fast. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a rich lap. Let's really put these ultras through the ringer. So we said the fastest middle sector. Perez has jumped Vettel. So here we go, let's set a rich. Uh... We won't have DRS, but we can do a rich lap, why not? Half a second faster in the first sector alone. Hamilton must be wondering how much more of this can he take. Can he be in He's actually being absolutely pummeled. Here's where Grosjean's uh parked it up. That's Hulkenberg being lapped, the blue dot. We'll go back into standard shortly. But that, oh, oh. What answer do you have for that lap, Hamilton? The answer to your question is you don't have a single answer. All right, bear with me a sec. There we go, sorry about that folks. My brother was uh, just sending me a message over Facebook. We're in the process of uh, looking for a new chair because uh, the old one's knackered. So we're coming up to start lap number 14, five to go. Five laps of fuel remaining. I fancy finding out some information about Alonso. I'll wait till I get onto the back straight. It's rubbish.
Bear in mind, this engine is now going to do Azerbaijan, Austria and Silverstone. And we'll look into the option of perhaps using it for Hungary. And then get the fresh for Spa. So we can use it Spa, Monza, Singapore, Malaysia. So this engine we're going to try and extend to Hungary. if we could extend it to Hungary. Almost in the wall. Of course, you remember the Azerbaijan Grand Prix last year, where Kimi Raikkonen caused a major pileup. And we had a nuts podium. I'm trying to remember who was on the podium that raise of the gun. 11 and a half back to Hamilton, 16 and a half back to Perez. We're coming up to bat markers, such as our pace. We got some fuel to use, why not? We may not catch the back markers, but uh, well, we actually did lap someone because we lapped Hulkenberg, didn't we? Anyway, just one corner to go. Past the St. Lawrence Seaway. Give my regards. We're going to win the Canadian Grand Prix. Bingo! Are you happy, Mr. Bouye? Just, 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 just
repetition here. I feel like my consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making any of your own. And that's like approaching a push you a long way up the field. Here come all the drivers, Mr. Perez on the podium. This is going to be extra special for him because it's time to spray the champagne. So yeah, who called uh, Daniel Ricardo driver of the day? I did. Stroll with a point for Williams and he beats Bottas. How did them two end up with penalties? What's going on here, Mr. Race Director? Incidents. I exceeded track limits. Bottas ignored a yellow flag. Daniel Ricciardo collided with Stroll. Stroll and he yeah, didn't serve a stop go. Magnussen also had a collision with Grosjean. That so did by Vettel, and I bet that's why. Uh, Grosjean retired. Wow. Incredible. Uh, Perez on the podium, Raikkonen fourth. Vettel finished seventh. Alonso got a couple of points for us. Brilliant. And it was just uh, Hulkenberg two laps down. And Groge on the early retirement. Championship, we've extended our lead to 49 points. Hello. Oh, that was the kind of race we needed. It means we could take it easy in Azerbaijan. <laughs> um, yeah, as if that's going to happen. Uh, lonzo has got 14 points. That's the most points he's ever accumulated from McLaren. This in uh, F1 2017. And we're third, but look at this. It's bunching up. It's bunching up. Right then. Time to go get paid. And then this will take us over the 2000. Lovely. And this means we've beat our friend. Lovely. That's him beat. And that's all good. Brilliant. Ah, we're going to be faster on pit stops now. Lovely. I got to do four more of them and I got to do 18 more races to get that bonus. Oh, and I get to do one of them here. What should we do? What should we do with a drunken sailor? What should we do with a drunken sailor? Do you know what? I'm going to take Hamilton. Uh... Yeah. Do that one. Why not? So, uh, yes. Thank you all very, very much for watching. I do hope you've uh, enjoyed this as much as I've enjoyed it. And we'll see you at the next race. Um, oh, actually, first, before we go. Put some updates on. What would the recommended upgrade? They're going to recommend that. Why not? So we'll get that. 
And then what happens if I go that way? Shall I go that way? We'll go this way. So hopefully then that's that whole bottom line sorted. So then we can get some proper uh, stuff in. So yeah, like I said, thank you very much for watching. I'm off to go do this exhibition uh, challenge at China. And we'll see you side by side into the first corner.